Hello and welcome to the new chapter on mensuration. So in this chapter we are going to discuss the following topics. First of all we start with the basic idea of mensuration. What do we mean by mensuration? What is the scope of mensuration? Why do we need it? And then we discuss the two important concepts. First is that of a perimeter. What do we mean by perimeter of an object? And we go on to measure the perimeter of rectangle and perimeter of other regular shapes. So we will try to derive the rules based on observations and find out the perimeter of regular shapes. We will also take quite a few examples to find out perimeter of various geometric objects. The second concept that we will be discussing in this is going to be that of an area. What do we mean by an area? What, why is the concept of area important to us? And then we proceed to calculate or we proceed to find out the area of a rectangle and the area of a square. How do we calculate that? And then we also take several examples to find out the area of various closed figures. Now having said that, let us first quickly touch upon what do we mean by mensuration. Now, if you just have a look around you, you will find out that there are objects. You are sitting in front of a computer, there is a table, there is a table top, you have your own house. Anything that you take, there are these are all geometric objects. Now, in my day-to-day -day life, I would be some in one way or the other require measurement of these objects. So we, 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 we do that measurement. So for example, if you just take your tabletop, you would be interested in knowing the length of one of the sides of the tabletop or you would be interested in knowing the area of the tabletop so that you can figure out whether what objects you can put or whether your computer can be put in over there or not. This is just one of the examples. Okay, and then when you have, let us say you have a, a glass or when you have a container in which you have to fill some liquid, in that case you would be thinking how much liquid this container can hold and that is where the concept of volume comes into the picture. So essentially there are three quantities which we are interesting in measuring about the, uh, the, the objects around us. So that is the length, the area and the volume. Now the question is why do I need to measure geometric objects? Of course there are so many uses but the primary use is like to compare them. So for example if you want to compare you are looking to somebody is looking to buy two houses one of the way to compare the houses is to what is the area of the house how big is it in terms of the area second thing is you 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 go to a shop to buy a table for your computer again you might think what is the height okay what is the height of one com uh, one computer table versus the other one okay and then when you when you, let's say you want to build up a water tank for your building or for your house you are going to measure it you are going to compare two tanks based on the volume of the liquid that the tanks can hold. So that is one of the reasons uh, why we, 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 me, uh, we measure geometric objects. And of course the second and the most widespread use is for planning geometric constructions. So the mensuration is extensively used when we go for like making buildings, houses, bridges and roads. You need to be able to measure the length of the road that is to be constructed. You need to measure the area of construction that is required for the building. Okay, And there will also be the concept of volume. For example, when I told you we are building a water tank. So that is why we need to measure geometric objects. Now, in this chapter, we are going to limit ourselves just to measuring the plane objects. And when I say plane objects, it simply means we are going to take two-dimensional objects. For example, something like this, a rectangle like this. Uh, so, so essentially we will be focusing around the length and the area aspects of the measurement related to the geometric objects around us. Volume part is going to be covered in the next grade. 
So that was about mensuration. See you in the next session on perimeter.